Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Ramos Sense 8PS Pro uh, 30,000 mAh power bank. And just taking a look at the box real quick for the power bank, as I, as I just said, it is a 30,000 mAh power bank, you know, a high capacity power bank. It has a 30 watt USB-C power delivery port. And just taking a look over at the back um, at the specifications. Um, you know, it has three input ports. Uh, this is one of the best parts of this power bank. It has a lightning micro USB and type C input port. Uh, for the output ports, you get the uh, 30 watt USB-C power delivery port and 22.5 watts USB-A quick charge ports. There are two USB-A ports. Uh, for the size of the power bank, it is a decently sized power bank. It has about a 6.5 by three inch by 1.2 inch um, form factor. And it weighs about like one pound, I think, 1.5 pounds, I believe. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good power bank, in my opinion. Um, also, it, it comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable and a manual. I can't find the manual right now. Sorry about that, but it does come with the manual. But yeah, a pretty decent power bank um, with a one glaring flaw, however. I'm gonna get into that in just a second. Over the front of the power bank, you get the 30 watts, 30,000 milliamp hours. You get a digital capacity display that shows the remaining capacity of the power bank. Over on this side, you do get a power button that can reactivate charging if charging has stopped for your devices. But you know, charging automatically starts when you plug in a device. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this button is also useful to, for uh, turning on the screen. Um, for checking the capacity. Uh, these are all the charging ports right over here. As I mentioned before, you get three input ports. That includes a lightning uh, input port, micro USB input port, and the uh, USB-C port can be used as an input port to recharge the power bank as well. Uh, you get three uh, output ports, these two USB-A quick charge ports, and uh, this 30-watt uh, USB-C power delivery port. Uh, for the input ports, uh, the micro USB and lightning input ports are able to input, um, I believe 18 watts, um, but it's better to use the USB-C port with a 30 watt power delivery wall charger to recharge this power bank at 30 watts. You know, for a 30,000 milliamp hour power bank, you're definitely gonna wanna be able to charge this uh, power bank as fast as possible. 30,000 milliamp hours is a, lot of, uh, is a lot of capacity. One of the glaring flaws of this um, power bank is that when you charge um, more than a single device at a time, the max output of this power bank right over here, it becomes 15 watts only. You know, this this is a great power bank, I like it, but man, this when you when you plug in more than a single device, the max output of this power bank becomes 15 watts, which means which means that you can't fast charge multiple devices at the same time. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna test it out right now in this, in this review, but I'm just telling you guys right now, like if I'm fast charging a phone from that USB-C port and plug in another phone from this uh, USB-A port, that, that phone that I have plugged into the USB-C port will stop fast charging and just, and just standard charge. And the same thing for the USB-A port, this will standard charge as well. You know, ask yourself if you find that worth it or not. Um, and yeah, with that said, I'm just gonna start using the power bank right now. Um, and yeah, let's get to testing it out with a laptop and some phones. All right, you guys, so just back with the Ramos Sense 8 PS Pro power bank. And uh, so it depends on what laptop you plan on charging from that 30 watt USB-C power delivery port. Because in this case, I'm, I am charging this uh, Lenovo Flex 5 laptop and it's only charging at about three watts. So yeah, I mean, pretty slow. Uh, you know, Lenovo laptops such as this one usually re usually require that you use a 45 watt uh, power delivery port, which is why it's charging at about three watts. You know, this is nothing negative about the uh, Ramos power bank. It just depends on what device you plan on charging. You know, in this case, it's not gonna be really good to charge a Lenovo laptop is, because it's gonna charge it at only three watts. Uh, you know, this uh, 30 watt power delivery port on this uh, Ramos power bank is going to be most useful, you know, for fast charging uh, phones, tablets, and maybe MacBooks as well. I think, um, you know, MacBooks are really good at charging, are really good at charging at all around wattages when it comes to power delivery. I mean, so, you know, this Lenovo laptop isn't going to be so good for it, but, you know, for laptops and phones in general, that USB-C port on this Ramos power bank is going to be really nice. Um, so let me go ahead and just connect a, uh, a Galaxy Note 9 to that USB-A port right over here. I'm gonna see, I think the uh, charging is gonna stop for the Lenovo laptop because the max output of the power bank does become 15 watts once you connect more than a single device at a time. And we're just gonna find that out right now. And yeah, as you can see, the charging did stop. <laughs> it's at zero watts right there. And this, uh, Galaxy Note, this Galaxy Note 9 is standard charging only. I mean, so yeah, that, that just goes to show that you can't fast charge on multiple devices at the same time with this Ramos uh, Sense 8 PS Pro power bank, unfortunately. 
Oh, and yeah, as, as you saw, it just gave up with charging the Lenovo laptop overall, and then it started fast charging the um, Galaxy Note 9. So, I mean, yeah, there we go. That's, that's at least the bright side right there. It actually knows when to stop charging from a port and just, you know, allocate more power to the to the port that's actually charging a device. So there we go. Um, and let me just run another test, fast charging the uh, Note 9 from that USB-C port. And also let me uh, test out charging uh, three phones simultaneously from the USB-C port and the two USB-A ports. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so just back uh, fast charging this Galaxy Note 9 from the Sense 8PS Pro power bank. Um, you know, it's fast charging from that USB-C port right over there uh, that has a 30 watt power delivery output. I'm just gonna start charging this LG G7 that has Okay, don't know what happened right there. I'm just gonna start charging this LG G7 from that USB-A quick charge port. And uh, yeah, okay, wow, that's actually surprising. Uh, looks like we're still fast charging with the Galaxy Note 9, even though I have this uh, LG G7 uh, charging from the uh, USB-A quick charge port. Well, wow, okay, that's, that's welcome, okay, why not? Uh, let me go ahead and start charging this Galaxy A51 from the other USB-A quick charge port and see what happens. So, Yes, we got standard charging right there, standard charging right there, and I think the uh, Galaxy Note 9 is still fast charging. Wow. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Oh no, wait. Okay, now it's standard charging now. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Um, for some reason, okay, uh, it looks like I was wrong. Um, I guess you can fast charge a single phone um, at a time when you're when you're charging two devices simultaneously. I, I would at most say. Uh, when you're charging two two phones simultaneously, you can fast charge a phone from that USB-C port right over here, uh, but the other phone um, charging from the uh, USB-A ports will standard charge. So I mean, yeah, that's good news for the for the Ramos power bank. So you can uh, fast charge a single device and standard charge another device. But when you're charging three devices simultaneously, like I like I am right here, all three of these phones are standard charging. They're not fast charging at all because the uh, max output does become 15 watts. And uh, so yeah, that is the um, charging for the Ramos Sense APS Pro power bank. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my Galaxy S20 to test out if this uh, USB-C port also features a uh, PPS super fast charging. Um, at most, I think it would feature 25 watts of uh, programmable power supply super fast charging. But uh, yeah, let me get my S20 to test that out with. All right, you guys, so just back with the uh, Ramos power bank. Um, nothing else charging right over here. I've got this Galaxy S20. Just gonna try to super fast charge it from that USB-C power delivery port. See what happens. And yes, we have super fast charging from that USB-C port. Uh, so yeah, this Ramos power bank does feature uh, PPS super fast charging. I'm pretty sure it's a 25 watts of PPS super fast charging because you know it is a 30 watt power delivery port. And uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let me go ahead and test out the recharging for the unit. I'm just gonna recharge it from that um, USB-C port to see if it's actually able to input uh, 30 watts of power delivery. So you know you can recharge it at 30 watts. You know for a 30,000 milliamp hour power bank, you're definitely gonna want to be able to charge it at at the uh, highest possible input speed. And so yeah, let's go ahead and test out the uh, recharging for it. Uh, Alright you guys, so I do have the Ramos power bank recharging from this 100 watt U-Green power delivery wall charger. And uh, so I do have it recharging at about 27 watts, uh, practically 30 watts. It, it's never going to be the same wattage input as it says it is. Uh, but yeah, 27 watts is basically 30 watts. And so yeah, going from uh, 0 to 100 for a 111 watt hour power bank, you're going to be looking at about a um, 4 hour recharge time, I would say. Using those, uh, using that uh, micro USB or lightning input port right over here, they have a input speed of 18 watts. Not really fast. If you're going from zero to 100, you're gonna be waiting a pretty long time for a full recharge for this power bank, which is why I highly recommend using the uh, 30 watt USB-C input with a 30 watt power delivery wall charger. Uh, in this case, I'm using a 100 watt wall charger, uh, which is way overkill. All you need is a 30 watt power delivery wall charger to get this recharged at uh, 30 watts. And uh, yeah, that's the recharging speed for it. All right, and that is the review for the Ramo Sense 8 PS Pro 30,000 milliamp hour power bank. Uh, I like this power bank. It's a pretty decent power bank, especially with that 30,000 milliamp hour capacity. You know, with a 30,000 milliamp hour capacity, you're gonna be able to charge phones, tablets, and laptops to full power multiple times. Well, with phones, you're gonna be able to charge them to full power about 
three to six times, depending on what phone you have. For tablets and laptops, I think you're gonna fare about a single charge and have spare capacity left over after that single full charge with this Ramos power bank. The charging power from the ports and the charging port selection is decent with a 30 watt power delivery port and two USB -A quick charge ports. But once again, you know, I wish that um, max output when charging multiple devices was higher than 15 watts. That's a, uh, you know, that's the, that's like really the only biggest flaw with this power bank. Um, you know, it would, it would have helped if that uh, USB-C port had a higher output as well. But you know, if, there, if it had a higher output, the cost of this uh, power bank would be would be higher. Uh, also, the uh, three input ports with with the uh, inclusion of three input ports that includes a uh, lightning port, micro USB port, and a USB C port. Uh, this power bank is great for any for any phone user. Like if you have an Android phone or an iPhone, it doesn't matter. This power bank is like basically made for you because if you have an iPhone, you can charge it from that lightning input port uh, really easily because you likely own a uh, lightning to USB-C cable or a USB-A to lightning cable. With that micro USB port, however, man, um, I can't imagine somebody owning a Android phone that still uses a micro USB port on their phone still. Uh, and if you do, I mean, hey, I mean, that's a, that's that's your choice. But uh, you know, that that's a, definitely a legacy port at this point. Uh, you know, the 30 watts of power delivery inputting into the power bank is gonna be the best option, to, is gonna be the best option to recharge it with. And uh, so yeah, that is a review for the Ramos Sense 8 PS Pro Power Bank. Uh, pretty good. Let me know your thoughts on the power bank down in down in the comments below. Uh, also down in the description below, I will have a link to the product page for this Sense 8 for this uh, Sense 8 PS Pro Power Bank, as well as a link to the review article that I have written over at ChargerHarbor.com. And I will see you all on the next review. All right, goodbye.